Okay, <clears throat> we are back at it again <clears throat> with the goose. So as you can see, we haven't closed up the skin yet here. So what I'm gonna do after I install the U-wire for the tail, I'm showing you how to install your um, attachment wire through the, the one that is going to hold up the bird on the on the mount. So <clears throat> you you leave your wire basically sharpened on, on both ends and you pretty much figure out where your wire is going to stick out okay from the back of the bird and easily push it through before you close the bird push it through the body and also right through the skin in the back of the bird and it comes out and on the breast side you make a U again at the other end of the wire and push it securely back into into the body so make sure make sure it's secure you bend that wire along the back so you can lay the bird down again on the table and then you easily sew up your bird now when you're taxiing the bird around um, I mean sorry the, the skin around the body when you're uh, working on it for so you can easily make a small incision around where the wire is coming out of the back and then adjust the skin if it's needed in case if you need to have it moved around in there so now we're going through a quick mode for sewing up the bird and also super fast blow drying so we can get the bird hanging on a piece of branch and start posing it as soon as possible So what I have here, I have a small um, piece of lumber, a small stick attached to a piece of plywood just to make it easy for transferring the bird and hanging the bird to the position that I want. Later on I will transfer it to a piece of branch for, for final attachment. One thing I need to say is that for some reason, um, I don't know what happened to the pictures that I uh, had taken from this bird, but I could only find one. Um, as you as you as you've noticed, I, I like to take multiple pictures of of my work uh, at the end of the show from different angles. But for some reason, I must have deleted them or misplaced them that I cannot find them anymore but I could only find one photo thankfully there is still one photo to look at so if you if you notice that there's only one picture at the end of the show that's why I don't know what what did I do with the rest of them So again, this being one of my older videos, um, at the time, if you remember, my older videos were, were shorter, were more uh, brief. So there is a lot of um, uh, steps that were not filmed. And one of the step, again, in this video, because it's one of the older ones, is that uh, there is no uh, caulking that uh, has been filmed. So um, just let you know that the caulking has been done on this bird too, just like any other bird that we do. Uh, it's just at the time I thought, you know, uh, it's not necessary to, to show that part or uh, I didn't have the camera on because of the size of the video. But the caulking has been done on this bird too. You see saran wrap 
uh, being wrapped around the legs, I mean the feet, is just because after injection, I didn't want any of it to seep out and uh, basically get touched by the feathers. So that's why I wrapped it in saran wrap. So if your mounting stand, uh, just like mine, has a swivel or basically the turning ability to it, it's going, it's going to help you a lot because uh, what I like to do, as you can see, I'm going to turn the mount uh, basically to the, to the point that I use the gravity and I, I work with gravity to my benefit instead of fighting against it. So to have the, the wing spread symmetrically and uh, having the uh, wing feathers separated totally from one another and being able to cart and tape them I like to hold the bird in the position that you see so everything is basically being pulled down by the gravity so I don't have to fight against it so it, it really helps and uh, it, it, it makes life a lot easier when you work with gravity instead of fighting against it Sorry again, all of a sudden the carding is halfway done. <laughs> I must have not the camera on or something. As I said, this is one of the older videos, so um, I am putting together whatever I had saved away in that file. But you have seen me doing this carding in other videos. Actually, not too long ago I did that uh, black duck for you guys. So it's just basically the same procedure, but uh, for some reason it was not uh, filmed for this bird. Anyway, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the show. Um, as far as I know, there is not much to talk about here. The rest is just uh, self-explanatory, so you can watch. And I hope that you picked up a tip here and there, or you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for the channel. Uh, we will be working on some more videos for you guys fairly soon. 
I, uh, I have a couple of Canada geese mount that I'm working on the video to, to upload them on here so you guys can watch and enjoy. Okay, thank you again. We'll see you next week.